In this video, I want to take a look at the Yukon freshmen. Yes, the fabulous freshmen that so far have been sort of the best thing about the Yukon women's basketball season. Now, first, it's very early in their development, early in the season. I would call this almost the non-conference part of the season. is almost like the appetizer. Then you get into conference, which is the main meal, and then the dessert is the March Madness NCAA tournament. So we've gotten a little bit of the appetizer, and we got a little bit extra because they went to Europe. Um, by far, I, I would say... The strongest freshman so far has been K.K. Arnold. You could tell that Gina Oriema was impressed with her during the European tour, and she has continued to impress. She knows what she is, which is essentially good ball handler, can take the ball to the basket, can distribute, quick feet, good defense. She just has so much to offer. Her shot's not there yet, but it is improving, and you know they've they hit the mark with this recruit with KK because she will eventually obviously be a starter. I don't know whether that will continue with this season, but eventually she is obviously the Yukon point guard of the future. The things that she needs to work on for the season and for the following years obviously continue on her shot. Obviously, you'd hope that she would be up to 30, 30% three-point shooter, maybe 35%. The other thing is, Oriam has talked about this, and, and she'll probably pick up some of this from Beckers, but he's she, when she brings the ball up court, she's always at 90 miles per hour, and she needs to learn how to change speeds a little bit to make her speed more effective. So he's talked about, you know, they're going through with her, hey, you've got to change gears, you know, it, your fastball looks a hell of a lot better if you're able to throw, you know, a change up around 80. And that's that's what she needs to do at times is not always be going 90 to 100 miles per hour. But of all the freshmen, she has had the best start as well in terms of personality and things like that. Like he says that she's the one quickest with a joke and just just brings life to the room, what you want from your point guard obviously, and, and from all of your players. I mean, they're all different personalities. Um, the next one is, I would say, the next most productive freshman so far would be Ashlyn Shade. Now, obviously, she recently had her breakout game against Ball State, and the, the thing with her, I, I did the video before the season started on her and sort of her background. I mean, she was always meant for success. She's been putting in forever in if, if you listen to Gino or Emma talk, he says that's a bit of the problem. This, this is somebody that wants to do so well and gripping so hard to be the best and doing everything right that she just puts an immense amount of pressure on herself to be perfect every time. And you almost want that player that's a little bit looser at times, you know, almost that player that doesn't give a damn in some ways can be better in tight situations or don't really appreciate what they're doing. But she is so focused and always been so focused that she wants to be the best player she can be. She wants to go to UConn where the best are and have a great college career and then go on to the next level. And all of those things that she is, you know, carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders. Oriama said that he had to talk to her and just said, Hey, you need to go back to what you did well in high school. You were a scorer in high school and that's what you need to do. And she's starting to mix it up a little bit. Like she's, she, uh, against, um, I think it was Kansas where she really showed off a little bit of her mid range game, gave it a little pump fake, but every time she gives a pump fake and gets in that mid range, it's almost a guaranteed bucket. Um, when she did get her first start, um, against Kansas, yeah, that, that did not go well as she was carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders, I think. But the, you know, the recent one, like we said, against Ball State, I mean, obviously she had her breakout, her shot was falling, which always makes Everything looks so much nicer. I think it's clear that she will be a productive UConn player. There's no doubt. I don't know. You know, you would think that she would be a future starting off guard, but it, it will be, you know, she's a, she's a solid player. That's just the thing. And physically, it looks like she and both her and KK, that's the other pleasing thing. 
They seem like they're going to hold up physically. KK, I didn't mention this. Low center of gravity, easy to change directions. Same thing with um, Shade. She just seems well put together and just very athletic and just solid in her movements. And yeah, I, I think with those two, I think you know that UConn has hit the jackpot with them. Now, third in line for the most productive freshman, I would put Cadence Samuels. Um, she, she's she been up and down. Really, when her shot's falling, you know it's going to be a good game for her. So she obviously had the initial breakout game against NC State, where that was the only thing UConn had going. Then she had her struggles after that. She had a good game uh, at the end versus Texas in the fourth quarter and then earned more playing time versus Ball State. The thing with her is is just her shot is so pretty, and, and she's long. Like Once she figures it out, she's only going to get better with time. I don't know if this is going to be her season two star. I mean, I, I think she'll probably just sort of be a hot and cold player. The more time she gets, the better she'll get. But I think you've got to be really bullish on her future as – she just has all the tools to be a great player. I mean, she's, in a lot of ways, she's Aubrey Griffin with a better shot. I mentioned this in the last video, the recap of the Ball State, but if if it keeps on going this way, I think she'll potentially eat into Griffin's minutes at times because Gino loves himself shooters and having four shooters out there. And if he's going to get more from her in terms of offense and she's hitting her shot, then I think he's likely to choose her over Griffin at times just because he knows he can get more points out of her. Now, the one struggling the most out of the freshman is obviously Ice Brady. She has been up and down. Um, She has a bunny problem. She's, She's missed a lot of bunnies and around the rim and things like that. She came out tentative against NC State in the first game. And after a few mistakes, Gino sort of put her to the bench and sort of gave her a bit of tough love. And then she's sort of been up and down. Um, it seems like the, the thing is, it's, it's, it's hard for bigs. I mean, when they're in high school, it's rare that they see somebody that can give them a game where the guards are often facing people, you know, their, their size, their speed. But when you're, you know, when when you're a big often in high school, you're the biggest one there. And it's very rare for you to go against somebody that's as big and as fast as you. And so it takes them longer to adjust. So it's not surprising. It has taken her um, this long. Positive is she has a good shot. Like you can tell she feels comfortable hitting the outside shot. She seems like a natural for the high post. Um, the, the worry is, well, right now she seems fumbly. She seems like that new driver that's like trying to think of so many things to do that she cannot focus and just do the simple things like catching the ball and stuff like that. She tends to have fumbly hands and things. I think that will improve as in time as she gets more comfortable. The other thing is she's not going to be like a defensive stopper. Like she'll be like a position rebounder that can block people out, but she's not going to sort of be an enforcer down the lane or sort of like a shot blocker or anything like that. I think she just needs time and they really need her to develop, especially if Aaliyah Edwards goes into the draft at the end of the season, they really need her to develop in the worst, worst way. They cannot afford for her not to come through. And then speaking of that, the last one of the freshmen is El Alfie who obviously hasn't been able to play as she tore her Achilles while in the under-19 World Championships. In hindsight, this was the injury that UConn really couldn't have because they're just so not big enough inside. And obviously, Gina's unwilling to trust DeBerry. They really need more size. It would just give them another option. And they really need her to come through next year, especially if Aaliyah Edwards goes you are really hoping that of that trio, Patterson, um, uh, Ice Brady, and El Alfie, like they need to come through, and then they're probably looking in the portal if they have spots just to sure up and get somebody, a senior that they know might be able to deliver. Um, So it's really incomplete on her and just really disappointing with the torn uh, Achilles. Anyway, what's your take on the freshmen? Who do you think? Do you think KK has been the strongest so far? And who do you think has the best long-range star potential? Do you think that's KK, Samuels, uh, El Alfie, who's been out, or Ice Brady? 
I forced to make a pick now, which is dangerous because the internet's forever. I think Samuels. I just love her shot. I think in time, because she's so long, she could develop into a special, special player if it comes through. But of all the freshmen, like them all, especially KK, Shade, and and Samuels, I, I think they've definitely gotten gold. I'm very optimistic for Ice Brady. Like I said, I think it just takes a little bit longer for bigs. Um, same thing, hopefully El Alfie comes through as well. Anyway, your comments, your poison, always welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you next time. Good night.